Hello boys and girls, <clears throat> sorry I haven't filmed for a little while but uh, weather has been awful, the garage has been so wet I haven't really been able to film but I have been out a few times um, to the set. I've done uh, another field a couple of times, just two other fields, just a cursory glance um, they're showing promise, but I've come back to the uh, hammered field today because it's a nice day and I have my first find I think it's had a little bit of silver but it's not hammered Vicky Sixpence Widowhead 1890 Yeah, okay, well, I'll see you next. That's an excellent start, a bit of silver. Welcome excellent. back. Off to uh, next. A few little finds of lead and a tiny little button, but uh, I didn't film them. I've had a chat with the farmer's son. Um, I just found this. What an interesting little item. Anybody have any uh, ideas what that is? So my immediate thought is it's something to do with a lock, just by the shape of that uh, there. It's a brass, I believe. It looks like there was something that uh, came off there, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, interesting find. Okay, okay you two, welcome back. Um, I have a feeling I may have to change my views on this field. I always thought that there, was, there was a house on it, but I just found this, which I believe is a trade weight. Well, I could be wrong. It certainly looks like one. I uh, can't see any stamps on it or anything. But it does look like one. Oh, anybody wants to offer any opinions, feel free. Oh, they're nice, obviously. Those are quite a depth. Okay, this next okay. one gave me a really high signal. It's, it's a coin. Oh, what's that? That's silver. Yes, George, silver. Is that a half shilling? Maybe? Odd colour. Oh well, excellent. Here's Another the silver. Find. Under the neck. It's a tyre valve or tractor valve. I believe. Right, under the next. Okay, next find. I don't know what this is, but uh, pretty sure Relic Seeking Scotland will be able to tell me what it is. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Not silver, just a, a handle of a spoon, I believe. Okay, my next one okay, under the name <coughs> is a ball. It says Foster Clark Maidstone. <laughs> Anything else up there? <laughs> Eiffel Tower Lemonade. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh under the neck. Fine. Little button. Okay, so it's oh, in the club. Oh, Let's see if we can find it. Uh, a bit of foil. There you go. Find oh, this coin. I don't think I'm going to get anything off of that at all. Very smooth. Okay, okay next find. Good one. It's a carrier tag. Now we're going to miss 
さあ I don't recognize that. Okay, so it's probably going to be the last dig of the day. Um, this find is a uh, brass end they used to, it will be threaded in there and threaded in the top. They used to screw them on the tips of um, cows' horns to stop them goring. Um, well, they used to remove them. I've got two or three of these from other sites. But that's great. Okay, well, if, if uh, I make it back to the gate without any uh, finds, then this will be the last and I'll see you at the round. Okay, well, I didn't make it very far. <laughs> uh, it's another copper. I don't know, it's half penny-ish size. Uh, to try and give it a clean up. I don't think there's anything on it though. It uh, certainly give you a signal you won't miss. Using the 18.5 hertz coil again. Uh, got lots and still got hundreds of signals in this field. Okay, well, see you at the next one. Nearly at the gate, look. Nearly made it to the gate. Let me go for a second. It's a pewter button. Cool. Hello, Lots of finds to look at today because uh, I've done a couple of hunts without taking the camera with me because the weather was so bad. Um, excuse the light. Um, start here. Pewter tap. <laughs> if anyone can take that for me. Um, I've certainly never seen one like it before. And this little jobby. Not a clue what that is. Brass, I think. Do know what this is. I think it's the head of a hoe. With a brass collar on it. This. A bit of a petrol can. Now this, I think this is a valve out of an engine. <laughs> Well bent and mangled, but uh, that's certainly what it looks like to me. And a handle from a spoon which I found today. Okay, lots and lots and lots of bits of lead. All this is just scrap bits. This, I think, could have been a lead trading token, but it's, it's in bits, it's so thin. And I think this could be a trading weight, although there's no stamps on it, or loom weight, or something like that. Um, don't know what that is. Lead again. A couple of musket balls. Big in and a little one. And this buckle's rather nice. I'll try and take it into the light. It's still got a bit of gild on it, if you can see. Yeah, the, uh, one of the only buckles I've found. It's in nice nick. Okay. A uh, cutlery tag. Uh, it's a bit of brass. I don't know what that's for. This, um, I've had these before if you see my other videos. They're screwed on the horns of cows to stop them gouging each other. And uh, we'll take this over to the light as well. I don't know what this is. But it's, I don't know if you can see there, if it'll focus. It, uh, it's got a it's like a stylized flower pattern on it in three sections. Focus. It's not going to. But uh, and there's a bit there at the bottom which seems to go around. If anyone's got any ideas? Uh, I thought it might have been from a chest or something. Interesting find that. Okay. Some more lead buttons. Lots and lots of buttons. Lots of different ones as well.
Uh, this one's got a bit of uh, silver on the back of it. Lots of different ones. Tiny, tiny one here. I think this is probably a shoe, one from a shoe. Coins, half pennies, I think. I don't know. I tried to clean that one there to try and get something off it, but there's nothing on it. Um, again, half pennies. This one here is a normal half penny, but this one is Dies Centimes, and it's Napoleon the uh, Third, 1851, I think. Um, George Florent and a Vicky Sixpence. This here is interesting. This is interesting. I found this in a real boggy bit, which is probably why the leather's still on it. But it's a stud with uh, it goes through leather, so that's interesting. Small bits of brass here, funny shapes. And uh, that's it for that hunt. I'll, um, I'm sorry about the light, I've got to do it out of the back at the minute. Um, and I'll uh, see you on the next hunt. Thanks for watching.